Hi, I'm Bob. Let's do computer exercises seven to nine today. For exercise seven, the OLS estimate for the dummy variable white is zero point one two nine. The usual standard error is zero point zero one nine seven. The T statistic is six point five three, and its p-value is zero to three decimal places. The ninety-five percent confidence interval is between zero point zero nine zero one and zero point one six seven five. The heteroscedasticity robust standard error is zero point zero two five nine, larger than the usual standard error. The T statistic is four point nine eight, and its p-value is zero to three decimal places. The ninety-five percent confidence interval is from zero point zero seven eight one to zero point one seven nine six. It is wider than the long robust confidence interval. The significance of the variable is unchanged. We use the predict command with the xb option to obtain the fitted values as usual. No value is negative. Two hundred thirty-one values are greater than one. We could not use the weighted least squares without modifying the values greater than one because the weights become negative for those values. Let's solve computer exercise eight. We follow the steps of the special case of the white test for heteroscedasticity. We first regress college GPA on high school GPA, ACT, skipped, and PC by OLS. Then we obtain the residuals and the fitted values using the predict command in Stata. Next. We generate the squared residuals and the squared fitted values. After that, we regress the squared residuals on the fitted values and the square term. Finally, we can read the F statistic and its p-value in the Stata result window, or compute the LM statistic. The F statistic is three point five eight, and its p-value is zero point zero three zero five. The LM statistic is six point nine six, and its p-value is zero point zero three zero eight. We reject the null hypothesis of homoscedasticity at the five percent level. Since the heteroscedasticity is pleasant, we use the weighted least squares. We obtain the fitted values of the mu hat squared. We call it. H hat. We can verify that H hat is positive. Then we generate the weights equal to the inverse of it. We can estimate the original model by weighted least squares using these weights. Comparing weighted least squares with original least squares, we find that the estimates are similar. In the weighted least squares. The effects of skipping lectures and having a PC are slightly larger. The standard errors are slightly smaller, leading to larger T statistics in absolute values and smaller P values. The significance of the two variables is similar. Using both methods, the effect of skipping lectures is statistically significant at the one percent level. And the effect of having a PC is statistically significant at the five percent level. For the last part, I report the estimated weighted least squares equation with the usual standard errors in the parentheses and the robust standard errors in the brackets.
they do not differ substantially. The significance of the estimates is essentially unchanged. Let's solve computer exercise nine. The OLS estimates are as follows. In part two, we follow the procedure of the feasible GLS to correct for heteroscedasticity. We first obtain the OLS residuals and then create the log squared residuals by squaring the OLS residuals and then taking the natural log. The next step is to run the regression of the log squared residuals on all the explanatory variables. After that, we obtain the fitted values and generate h hat by exponentiating the fitted values. Finally, we generate the weights equal to 1 over h hat. In stata, we put the weight inside a bracket. The estimated equation by weighted least squares is as follows. In part 3, to check whether the weighted least squares model still has heteroscedasticity, we carry out the special case of the white test. After obtaining the residuals and the fitted values from the weighted least squares model, we regress the squared residuals on the fitted values and the squared term. The special case of the white test gives an F statistic of 10.6. It is evidence of heteroscedasticity in the weighted least squares model. It implies that the proposed form of heteroscedasticity is not competent to mitigate heteroscedasticity. We consider using the robust standard errors in the weighted least squares model to further alleviate heteroscedasticity. The estimated equation is as follows. I put the robust standard errors in the brackets. Comparing the weighted least squares models with and without robust standard errors, we find that the significance of the variables is basically unchanged.
Thank you for doing the computer exercises with me. I hope it helps. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.